Hello and welcome to Natalia's Yummy Life, which that's what's supposed to be my channel call. I still cannot change name on my YouTube channel, sorry about that. But for today, we're gonna create this yummy, delicious, solid, very juicy, flavored, soft, smooth to eat. Ah, oh, it's my favorite from old, old Ukrainian recipe. So let's get started. The Christmas is almost here and today I'm waiting lots of guests in my house and I decided to surprise my guest, Canadian guest, with Ukrainian salad. Uh, this salad are so old, it used to be made for the every occasions in Ukraine, if this is wedding, newborn baby, any, any big celebration would not go without the salad that we call Olivier in English way you can call potato salad uh, so I'm gonna make this together with you today and this is one of my favorite salad they almost kind of like forgotten salad in Ukraine people start to kind of ditch this salad as old and all new salads came out now with new recipe but this is one of my favorites old recipe and we're going to do this. To begin with, I always grab one big pot and I put potatoes, big carrots, which I have to cut in half, it's a very big carrots, and eggs all in one pot and I boil them till it's done. Sorry, got distracted. My husband delivered me Tim Hortons coffee. Cheers, guys, for, to you from Canada. So, as I say, I usually grab a big pot so they can fit uh, all my raw potatoes, big carrots, and eggs. And I boil them all together to save the space in my stove and time. So of course your egg would cook faster. I pull out egg and I continue to cook. But potato usually probably would cook faster than carrots. Depends on the size of your carrots. So after everything is boiled and I do not peel them before I boiled. It just like this with the skin. And now we're gonna do this all clean. We're gonna clean our eggs from the shelf, peel potatoes and peel carrots. And I don't know how many I will use. Usually I uh, kind of make it like an even. It's almost as 50-50, but you will see on the end. You, you need to mix as much as you wish one or the other ingredients to be uh, more uh, tasty. Um, so this is not all ingredients, but this is what I will do. And of course, if I crack my eggs, I will put them uh, and some separate dish first and I would rinse them after because sometimes little pieces of um, eggshell would stick to my eggs so I would rinse them just to make sure nothing crunchy will get while you eat this delicious salad so tell you the story like when for example in Ukraine somebody would get married it's almost like the whole village would celebrate because everybody know everyone and everyone is invited so the lots of people from village ladies of course would come to these people who give away daughter or son and help them prepare and cooking and our job as a kids was to chop all these vegetables and fruits and uh, not fruits but like all these ingredients we would chop sometimes I would make some cookies uh, so everyone was working as a team and that's what was the most kind of precious thing as I remember that was lots of fun um, the lady was singing some specific songs um, would play music. It was hot time. Lots of good food would cooked and when Ukrainians cooked the table overload this good goodness. So we will recreate today the salad that I really really like. 
So I'm not gonna pour you out to watch me peeling all these ingredients. I'm just gonna show you a few things at a time. So the most kind of harder is to peel carrots sometimes. And usually I would peel when it's hot, but I decided to record so I put all my uh, pre-cooked, not pre-cooked, but boiled everything till it's done on the fridge overnight. And now it's morning and I'm just gonna peel just like this to get the skin out. After we do this, I will let you know what our next ingredients will be. Okay, and our carrot is ready. Same thing we will do to our potato. Potato a little bit easier to peel. But it has to be cooked with the skin, otherwise the potato will be, first of all, taste different and um, probably fall apart. So that's the trick to cook your vegetables with the skin. Alright, so this is what I am going to do till I finish and then I will be right back to you. And here is our next step and this is probably the most time consuming step because we need to dice absolutely everything. The smaller dice then better will taste your salad. So we are gonna slice long way. Be careful with your fingers. And then usually when I slice this way I separate in the middle and put flat that way it's not gonna slide all over and then I go the other way again some people dice vegetables in the bigger squares but I find when it's the smallest you dye vegetables to make a dice, it's tastier, more soft. Your salad will, it's just more, I would say gentle, I would say. Um, it just tastes better. Okay. And then I put together this way and we're gonna chop. Our carrots first. Well, it doesn't matter what you do first. Potato usually I do last because I don't know how much potato the salad will take. Depends how big salad you want to make. So it's really, uh, you can't, I can't tell you, okay, do two potato, one carrot, you know what I mean? This is all your preference what kind of vegetables you prefer better in your salad and uh, that's what you add a little bit more I usually um, and then I do like again a little bit on the top like this just to dice them even smaller and ha I have in here like a bigger side of the bowl so I can mix in here and let's see if you can see me I'm sitting here Oh, you cannot see me. Okay, I'm sitting here in Santa's cloth hat. So I look like an elf in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab my, after every time, I just put in my dish. And we will continue. So let's, let's chop one potato right now together. Potato probably was my last, 
favorite thing to chop because the way it's boiled it feels really kind of like a sticky but you just need to love what you do and I'm telling you you need to try to make this salad if you never did very very old name for the salad the way my parents would call or parents of parents Miasne salat, which to translate to English that would be meat salad, not potato salad, because miasne it's a word from miaso, miaso it's a meat, and salat it's a salad. So it's a meat salad. I don't know why they call it potato salad. Because it's not just a potato in here, we're gonna have here and kabasa and other ingredients. So yes, later on, these fancy words people start using and call Olivier. I'm still waiting on my husband to bring me a jar of pickles. Because that's ingredient only I'm missing as of right now. And the pickles it's better those big ones that is softer, not those crunchy little one mini pickles. Uh, the bigger one is better because they are less crunchy and give you more the soft flavor and more salty. So let's just do a little bit at the time. When we get to the point, I will explain more. Okay, as you can see, it's a very little dice. Let me show you, like, maybe a little bit close to the camera so you can see what we have right now. This go into the our bowl of goodness. Okay, let's crush together one more with you egg and then I will be chopping this thing by myself and get you back to me when I'm done. Now I always cook eggs a little bit more than I need and as you can see I cook in here how many one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is ten and I cook more because my golden retriever puppy, he loves boiled eggs and he's already walking behind me everywhere I go because he can smell and he knows that usually I give him boiled egg. So whatever salad I make in with eggs, it has to be one egg for Buddy. That's his name. This way, and then we're gonna chop this way. It's tricky to hold it, but just to take a time. Some people use like to shred. I do not like this way because the consistency of the salad will change and it won't be the same anymore. Uh, there is another recipe where you need to shred your eggs. But we will get to that recipe some other time. And as small as piece as it can be. And this thing go to our chopping bowl. And now my lovely. I will serve my puppy with one egg. Chop all these vegetables that they have here. And all these eggs. And I will probably not put all potato. I will just, I will see how much I need because I don't want to be overwhelmed with potato even if it's called potato salad. But we will see. I usually mix little by little. Uh, like carrots and eggs, I always mix together in a bowl because those ingredients always go everything I, I have. But the potato, I usually um, leave few potato aside and taste and later I will figure out if I want more or not. 
So I'm gonna serve my puppy with this eggs, chop all the vegetables, eggs, and I will be right back to you. All right, so here it is, what I have so far. I have lots of eggs, I have lots of potatoes, uh, less of course carrots. Um, carrots, just make sure it's cooked very well, so it's not crunchy, it has to be uh, fully cooked carrots. And I do have left two more potatoes and I will not chop them right now till I mix all my ingredients and see if I feel like I need to add a little bit more potato than I will uh, later on on the end. So our next ingredient will be go to this salad and it's a main ingredient. It's our kabasa. <clears throat> so for now I grab this kind of piece. If I have to add a little bit more, I will, but for now we're gonna do this one. And I will cut maybe long way. You can cut in a circle and dice it. Usually I like to cut longer pieces. I should grab a longer knife as well. I'm just gonna slice a long way. That way it's kind of easier to chop later on a dice. Okay, so you're gonna cut this way all the all the kabasa and let me just start with you a little bit in here and then I'm just gonna go long way very thin slices. If circles of kabasa are easy for you to dice, you cut them circle away and then chop. So as you can see, lots of chopping in this salad. If you have a kid, that's great if they can help you. And then as the other ingredients, we're gonna cut or dice as little as possible. And that's uh, basically kabasa will give you a real uh, taste and flavor. And you can add as much as you want. Okay, I definitely need to grab a, my bigger knife for this. our rest of the ingredients in here all right so I'm kind of like making them in a portions and so I can see how much I have you can separate them on a separate bowl so you can see uh, how much by the volume you have of each ingredients so I will chop all this piece kabasa and I will be right back with next ingredient also, we're gonna dice um, onions, and I have a big onions in here, and I need for the other cooking today yet. And you can cut as smallest pieces as you possible can. So this is all we have. Our onions go into the mix to all this goodness in here. Our next ingredients: it's a sweet pea, canned. And because this is a very big portion, as I'm making it for the party, uh, I might well use two, I don't know yet. So I already open one and I drain out water. So basically when you cut, you just um, drain out juice, whatever is in the can in the sink. And then we're gonna add all this piece in here. And After I mix, I might will add one more because we need to taste everything. So uh, we will add some salt, black pepper, and mix with mayonnaise. Of course, if you don't like mayonnaise, 
You can add um, what's the call cream weapon? No, no, no. Hold on. Oh, that, 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 that one. Not the main is. Okay. I black out and I don't remember the name. All right. So anyway, the real thing is a real thing and mayonnaise. That's what I use for this recipe. So we will gonna mix all this together and uh, because we gonna have in here pickles. Pickles is salty. So you will have to add salt after you mix all the salad together and then you will try and see and even if you need the salt because pickle salty so you hold with the salt to the very end after you mix all ingredients and then you try it and then you will know how much salt you want to add for your own taste all right finally my pickles arrived and my husband brought me this dill pickles uh, usually to um, eat like regularly we buy in a garlic pickles so that's my favorite one but for the salad we don't need very crunchy softer pickles actually better and this one feels like it's soft I just I have to try first I usually cut those ends I, cut, I call them butts okay and I'm just gonna try a little bit to see how one salt okay they are really strong and salty so I will add them maybe even two to start and then uh, after I mix I will see if I have to add more so we do exactly the same thing as we did the other uh, our all ingredients we are gonna chop Pickles, you can even chop the smallest pieces as possible you can do because this is strong and just remember not to salt your salad till you put your pickles first because sometimes it depends on how much you can add pickles okay sometimes it's a little slippery situation you have to be careful not to chop your finger um, depends on how pickles you're gonna put into your salad sometimes you don't even need a salt and salt is not really good for you anyway you don't have to even add any salt if you can just add more pickles okay so here is what we're gonna do just chop little by little usually pickles is a tricky Thing to cut because skin kind of hard like that because I'm gonna have a lot of people today in my house so this is gonna be a big big dish I put lots of ingredients and I think my mixing bowl is way too small so I brought in here much bigger one because we have to mix this ingredients very well and usually I mix I let all the ingredients uh, soak in together incorporate all the you know salt and pepper so the spices and then I try maybe like 20 minutes later or so, make sure my salt is melted, then I will know if I need to add more um, salt or pepper, whatever is, uh, you like to have more. So I'm going to chop one more cucumber, uh, I mean the pickle, uh, and then I will see if I need to add more or not. And I actually will add another can of peas because I like peas. and. It just because I have a lots of stuff and I added the rest of my potatoes because as a Canadians they love potato salad totally from potato I'm not big fan of potato salad so I thought well since I'm in Canada and Canadians like potatoes so I just added the rest of my two leftover of boiled potatoes so I don't have to throw them away 
and in a salad with all this mixes it will be still taste good I already have my Ukrainian way meatballs simmering on a stove I make in my homemade kosla and lots of other stuff my husband just brought beautiful roses for me that's beautiful Christmas bouquet if I remember I will show you see it's slippery sometimes it's easier pickles to do one by one slice because they are slight and I think pickles is the hardest way to chop if you want to chop them different way go ahead but the main thing about the salad is everything have to be diced not shredded diced I hope you're doing good up there. If you wish to work with gloves, go ahead. I wash my hands really good before I chop every meat. Okay, so here is what we are going to do. I'm gonna push this aside. Maybe, let's see if we can, oops, zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna show you, I have in here, as you can see, it's pretty much full dish, lots of stuff. So I will be not able to mix all this. So I will bring here, hello camera bigger bowl and I'm just gonna dump everything in here it's gonna be enough for us for dinner for today and it's gonna be enough for me to take him to we are going for dinner to our friends tomorrow and we bring in some food with us so I guess this is gonna be enough to bring with us a little bit salad to their house and I'm gonna add one more can of the other can so it's not two cans in here of peas because I like peas and if you already learned from me that my recipe it's not really um, but follow some kind of rules and measurements mostly it's all you have to taste it and see what you like so now I'm just gonna incorporate a little bit them by mixing them just a little bit so all those ingredients get a little bit together here's kielbasa start to pop out to the top now I'm gonna add black pepper as much as you like I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit right now then I will, will taste later salt I'm gonna add right now like half of the teaspoon because I do have a pickle up there so I need to be careful not over salt if you like herbs like for example um, chives fresh chives you can add in here but right before your servants the chives doesn't make your uh, salad sour if it stays longer or dill uh, parsley would be nice in here to add as a garnish and then the ingredient we need mayonnaise the real stuff guys and that's what's gonna put all our ingredients together okay I should open this after camera oh okay that's the one messy 
mayonnaise. All right. And my floor is squeaking here. Okay, I'm just gonna use my teaspoon from the salt because I forgot to bring spoon. And let's see how much we need. A little bit at a time. A little bit at the time. We don't want to make this liquidy, but also we don't want to have dry. So you mix and just add a little bit by little bit. So it's kind of wet, but not soaked. Mm. You just have to trust yourself and see how much you like mayonnaise, and then you add as much as you need. If you feel like you want more kielbasa, you can add more kielbasa or other ingredients. Sometimes lately, Ukrainian people start to add in here sweet corn, but sweet corn, it was never in main recipe. This is a old, old recipe. So we're not gonna mix in here anything that not balloon. This is how my parents made salad this is how my mom's mom make salad so this is from generation to generations every celebration never go away without this salad and here is the consistency that we want that's it I'm not gonna add any more mayonnaise and if I show you close to the camera maybe this is what we have okay and let me just try a little tiny bit I'm just gonna get this spoon from mayonnaise and I wanna try right now a little bit on uh, ingredients how this all mixed together just a little bit mm-hmm I could use a little bit more of black pepper. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more. I can definitely taste pickles. So I'm not gonna be go crazy right now on the salt. So far, so good. I just have to make sure all salt is melted because I use kosher salt, which just have a bigger grains than table salt. So I'm gonna cover this right now with clear, um, clear cover, plastic wrap, and I'm gonna set this for maybe another like 10 minutes on the counter, so the salt melt and everything, uh, all those flavors go together, and then I will taste and see if I need to add more ingredients or not. But for now, guys, this is how we made Ukrainian salad Olivier. I hope you like this recipe and you will try to make it. It's very simple. All you need, you put in a pot, let's just recap what we need. Potatoes, carrots and eggs. That's three ingredients that you need to boil and cook to well done. Then we need canned peas, pickles, kielbasa, salt, pepper. And did I forget anything? I think that's all. And if you want to garnish with some uh, parsley on the top, you serve this on a little beautiful dish and you're ready to have a wonderful food for your family or friends or your guests. Oh yes, and I almost forgot that yes, we are, we did edit yet onions, chopped onions. So now I'm just gonna cover and this is ready to wait for our guests. All ingredients already melted. I taste and it's actually perfectly fine. I don't need to add anything else. 
Now I'm just gonna put this all in the fridge and serve as a cold, delicious salad. Here is beautiful bouquet from my husband and he is trying to get to those flowers. <laughs> Merry Christmas everybody!